Hello there, dear people of God. God bless you. Hallelujah. It is one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. How you doing, folks? What's up? What's happening? Dr. B. Lim is in the house. Let us know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts, likes, comment below. Wow. Are you excited for the month of December? There is so much in the air, so much activity in the spirit. Amen. So let us know where you are watching from, friends. Uh, it is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I'm excited to talk with you today and to release the prophetic word of the month for December. Amen. December will truly be a month to remember. This is going to be an epic month, an epic finish to the year 2022. Who is excited to end this year with miracles, signs, and wonders? Amen. And truly, this is uh, probably one of my favorite or the favorite time and season of the year, not necessarily because of Christmas. We understand that Christmas does have some pagan origins and pagan roots, but really because of, of course, the birthing, the nativity scene of Jesus, which really is, uh, you know, uh, at a different time, uh, but also because of Hanukkah. Uh, and we understand that even Christmas, in a sense, was the counterfeit uh, that the Roman Catholics uh, placed uh, in terms of Hanukkah. But really, it's all about Jesus. Amen. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Yeshua HaMashiach. So I'm really excited about this month. It's going to be a great, glorious month, a powerful month. Amen. So continue to let us know where you're watching from. Let's build up the atmosphere. Invite your friends. Share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Because I want to give you some uh, prophetic insight and some historical wisdom. Uh, concerning this season that we're in. And remember, with all these uh, prophetic words of the month, I've been doing these for years now, but with every prophetic word of the month, uh, you know, I like to give historical context. And I like to go to uh, the Hebraic roots of the Torah, of the Bible. And from there, we can pull out prophetic insights and intel of the future. The more you understand the past, the more you will be able to understand the future. Amen. So pray with me. Pray in the Holy Ghost as we begin to build up the room and the atmosphere today. Hallelujah. Comment below where you are watching from. Amen. So I can give you some shout outs and I can greet our wonderful people here today. This is Dr. Pastor Ben here. Praise God. Uh, give us some hearts and likes. If you see me well, if you hear me well, I think it's a little bit blurry. But we rebuke the blurriness, Jesus name. Hallelujah. And any delay in the atmosphere. Hello there, Heather. God bless you. Jurgen Mayer. Karen Tom, God bless you. Rob Filler, good to see you, friends. Hallelujah. Crystal Vera, good to see you. Christina Wilson, Yolanda. Hallelujah. Marion Williams, praise the Lord. Shatarabata. Glory be to God. Continue to comment below where you are watching from. Amen. Shatarabrata. Help us to build the atmosphere here today, friends. And let me know where you are watching from so I can give you some shout outs today. Amen. South Africa in the house. We got our Safas in the house. God bless. Becky Weaver. Excited for this Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Hello there, Patricia Jansen. Hey, what's up, Rob? I see you too. Melissa, I see the fillers here. Rababo Satarabrata Tedero Shatarabrata. Shatarabata Terebrosata. Rabana Sotarabrata. Brea, hello there, Heidi. Cape Town, Chantel. Glory be to God. Zabara Brosata. Yes, Apostle Seth, hello there. Glory. I can feel the fire of God on his broadcast. So continue to pray in the Holy Ghost and pray for his broadcast as you jump on. Hello there. Del Speche from the UK. Lala from the Philippines. Heidi from Pretoria. April from San Diego. You connect from Zambia. Hallelujah. Amen. Lisa. On fire for Jesus season. Jababa, hello, Prophet Sivana. Glory be to God. Nigeria is in the house. 
South Africa, Antoinetta. Continue to share this broadcast with your friends. The man of God, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is in the house. And in a few minutes, I want to talk to you about what you can expect for this month of December. Who's ready to end this year with a big bang? Who's ready to finish 2022? Who's ready to finish this year with a big bang? Amen. God is going to end with miracle signs and wonders. So who's ready for that? If you're ready to receive, say, I'm ready. Prophet Lewis, Daisy from Kansas City, Marlene from Orlando, Bob from South Africa. Hallelujah. Rabba Sete. Jababa Zambia in the house. Trinidad Tobago. God bless Springfield, Missouri. Susan Kim. Amen. Yes. Comment below. I'm ready. I'm ready. From Durban. Yes, I do love Durban. God bless you. Come on, continue to give us some hearts and likes. Let's build up the atmosphere, my friends. Let's build up the numbers. And let's build up the algorithm. We are going to break through some things today in Jesus' name. There is going to be a breakthrough on this broadcast. I want you to comment breakthrough broadcast. Because this is a breakthrough broadcast. And let me tell you, friends, the grace that is on this live in this room, Habroska is going to touch your life. It's going to come upon you. The grace that is on this life is going to touch your family. If you receive, say amen. Breakthrough broadcast. Good to see you, Rachel. I'm so ready. Yes, Lord Lashira, Pastor Sharon. And by the way, this is Giving Tuesday. So glory be to God. Rosa. Thank you, Lord. Someone say breakthrough. Come on, breakthrough, breakthrough. Felipe, Vicky L. Gibson. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Shaka Rabata. Jabarabosa. Now I want you to lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for the grace that is in this place. And I ask you, Father, let the fire and the power of God go forth. Touch your people. Release angels, the hosts of heaven. And I thank you that you are going to release fire on this broadcast like never before. Rabba, continue to pray in the Holy Ghost. Rebe setarabrata, jaba karabrasa, rabba bosata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Melissa Shu, for being a subscriber. God bless you. Ruska Taba. Some of you are probably feeling the fire of God already. You are experiencing the glory of God in your room, in your car, wherever you are watching from. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this month of December. And we declare every word that will be spoken and released will be from your mouth and from your throne. In Jesus' name. And all of God's people said amen, amen, and amen. Well, friends, God bless you. Continue to share this on your wall and give us some hearts and likes. Friends, this month of December is going to be a mega month. It's going to be a mega month of miracles. Now, this is one of my favorite times because if you know me, you understand that I love celebrating and honoring the Jewish feasts. In fact, they're not Jewish feasts. They're biblical feasts. These are appointed times by God. If it is at a God-appointed time, it means there is something ordained from the heavens above. And whenever it is an appointed time, according to the Bible, God's time, then there are kairos moments, and there are feasts around the table, and there are harvests of crops and agriculture. So this is a harvest season. This is a harvest time. And I love this feast, even though it's not one of the seven covenantal biblical feast but still this is a supernatural feast i want to say supernatural thank you heidi for being a subscriber still this is a supernatural feast and this is a supernatural time and month because this is a time of hanukkah now we're going to get into some of the meanings and the historical facts of our holiday called hanukkah <clears throat> but I believe in this season, God is going to bring gifts to you. Someone say gifts. The Bible says, as 
as he ascended, he gave gifts to many men. So are you ready to receive gifts in this month? This is a month to receive, hallelujah, fresh revelation, fresh rhema, fresh word. This is a season to receive fresh mentals and impartations. I'm telling you, friends, God is about to release the blessings of God in this month, in this season. Yes, absolutely. He's a giver, and he loves to bless every month, every season. Absolutely. But there's something special about this month. If you receive it, say, man, there's something special about this month. And I want to declare and decree over you that there's going to be a multiplication of grace in your life. Oh, I feel the Lord. A multiplication of finances in your life. There's going to be an exponential factor in your ministry and business this month in Jesus' name. If you receive, say amen. If you tap in, say, I receive. I'm telling you, friends, this month, there is a grace for exponential victory. Victory on all sides. Breakthrough on all sides. Miracles on all sides. God's going to multiply the oil that you have, and he's going to exponentially increase like never before. So if you're ready to receive from the hand of God today, I want you to say amen. Now, really, this month, of course, in the Gorian Greek calendar, December, it's the 12th month. And 12 in Hebrew stands for kingdom and government. So this month, there is a governmental shift. I need you to hear this. There is a governmental shift this month. This is the month where God begins to shift your governmental position. This month, there's going to be shiftings and shakings in the governments of the world. And the Lord of hosts, the glory of God, is going to release a new governmental mantle over your life. Look at Jesus, Yeshua being born. Baby boy Jesus was born, and we understand he was not born this month. In fact, the Jewish scholars say that Jesus was probably born uh, around Tabernacles time, which was literally in the month of October or so. Uh, but as Jesus Yeshua, as we celebrate baby boy Jesus being born this month, I want you to think about it. Jesus was born as a king, as a king. I want to say king. Jesus was born as a king. So therefore they were threatened by the birth and the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ as a king. I feel the Lord right now, which caused, uh, which caused the kings of the day to be afraid and to try to murder and abort all the babies. We understand the mass massacre, the mass slaughter of all the babies during the birthing of Jesus, during that time of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm telling you, this is a time of governmental shift where kings and queens are going to be raised up, where a new governmental mantle and a new governmental glory is about to be released on the earth and over your life. There's going to be shiftings and shakings in the governments of the earth this month. So if you receive that, say amen. There are 12 disciples, 12 tribes, 12 apostles. And there's 12 months. 12 elders. And we see the elders, 24, which is 12 times 2, in the scene of the throne of God in the book of Revelation. So we understand that 12 is a governmental number and a governmental mantle. So this month, the Lord is going to crown you with blessings and bounty. The Lord is going to crown you with a kingdom glory, new governmental mantles over your life. If you receive it, say amen. So remember this, gifts, government, and glory. Gifts, government, and glory, all right? This is a month of gifts, government, and glory. So if you're ready to receive gifts from the Father of lights, say amen. It's coming to you, friends. It's coming. But how many of you have felt like you are in a battle? I'm telling you, the battle rages. The devil rages. How many of you have felt like you've been in a battle financially? You've been in a battle physically in your health? relationally with your family. Maybe you did not have the best or greatest Thanksgiving. Maybe you're living in a country or you're living in a place right now where there's turmoil, 
Listen, friends, we see what's going on all across the world right now. There are revolts and revolutions happening. Look at Brazil. Look at Iran. Look at uh, China. There's great shakings going on all across the earth. Amen. And I'm telling you, friends, as we are about to end this year, 2022, and as we're about to shift into December and eventually into January, I'm telling you, friends, next year, 2023, 5783, it's going to be a year that's going to shock the world. So the word that I have for you for this month of December is your eyes will see. I want you to say this. My eyes will see. Your eyes are about to see the glory of God, the goodness of God in the land of the living. Your eyes will see. I want you to repeat this. My eyes will see. So even today, I release the grace to see. Even as the prophet Elisha opened up the eyes of his servant and the servant began to see all the angels around him. This month of December is the month for you to see. If you're ready to see and to be and to believe and receive, I want you to say amen. This is the month to see. Why is that? Because in this month, this in the Hebrew month right now, in fact, we are in the Hebrew month called Kislev. I want to say Kislev. We are in the Hebrew month called Kislev. And really this month of Kislev and December, this is the month of the eyes of God. Oh, I feel the Lord right now. This is the month of the eyes of God. This is the month of revelation, of the festival of lights, of the lampstand, of the menorah, of the oil, of the burning lamps. This is the month where first love, fresh fire, new oil begins to burn bright over your life. All the dead areas. You've been lukewarm. You've been cold. Oh, you've been outside. You've been on the bystand. You've been a bystander. You've been on the stand. But this is the month where the fire of God comes upon you. Reke. And a fresh fire, new oil begins to come upon your life. And this is the month where you are going to burn like the lampstands of God. Come on, somebody. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. This is the month where you are going to have revelation and you will see with the eyes of God. Get ready to see. Are you ready to see? Are you ready to see victory? See multiplication? See harvest? See breaks? Are you ready to see baby boy Jesus, the goodness of God? Are you ready to see a new Jesus people movement being birthed and born again? New governmental mantles on this month. Are you ready to see in your family, in your life? This month, Kislev, December, are you ready to see? If you're ready to see, say amen. I need you to shout right where you are because this is the month where you will see. So Kislev in the Hebrew, this is the month, my friends. This is the month of Hanukkah. And as even though I shared a little bit about Hanukkah in the beginning, Hanukkah is not, not, is not one of the seven biblical feasts or seven biblical appointed times. Some say it's the eighth. Some say it's the ninth. Hallelujah. But this is still a very important feast. You know why? Because Jesus himself celebrated Hanukkah. One of the words for Hanukkah, what Hanukkah means is rededication. I want you to say rededication. My goodness, I feel the Lord. This is a month where they rededicated the temple back to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Rabba. This is the month where they rededicated the temple back to God. So this is the month where many of you are going to rededicate your life to Jesus. You've been tired. You've been weary. Ha! Huh? You wanted to give up. You said, Jesus, I can't do it anymore. God, I need money in my pocket. God, I need, I need your wealth. I need your anointing. But this is the month where you're going to rededicate your body, your soul, your future, your destiny unto the Lord. Revival means to rededicate. And dedication, what that means is covenant and consecration. So this is the month of Hanukkah rededication. But even what Hanukkah means, it means the festival of lights. I want you to write that. The festival of lights. Now, the wonderful thing about Hanukkah is that it is an eight-day celebration. 
I want you to comment eight. Eight days of glory. Eight days of fire. Eight days of miracles. Come on. Eight days of signs and wonders. It is an eight-day celebration. And why is it eight days? It's eight days because the oil manifested supernaturally and multiplied for eight days. I feel the Lord. The oil multiplied for eight days. You see, this is the month where God turns your lack into much. Your little into a multiply form. I'm talking to you. Your strength. Whatever remains, whatever little strength you have, go in that might. This is the month where the little that you have is going to multiply. If you receive it, say amen. Rababa, what happened during Hanukkah? Hanukkah, of course, is one of my favorite holidays and feasts because it really talks about the victory of Jesus. It's the underdog story. Have you ever felt like the underdog? Amen. Have you ever felt like the underdog? Have you ever felt like you didn't have it all together? You didn't have the good looks. You didn't have the good gifts. You didn't come from a good family with a good background. You didn't grow up with a silver spoon in your mouth. But you see, Hanukkah is the underdog story where there was a little ragtag army or group of common people, common, regular, average people, farmers, agricultural shepherds. And as a Cilician army was overriding and overbearing the Jewish people, what happened? Finally, there was a revolution. I want you to write revolution. There was a rebellion. They said, enough is enough. You are not going to lead us into idolatry. You are not going to desecrate the temple. There was a desecration of the temple. All right, the Cilicians, who were the rulers of the Jewish nation, Jewish people at that time, what did they do? They desecrated the temple, the most holy place, the Temple of Solomon. They desecrated the temple. Uh, excuse me, uh, the temple of Nehemiah of those days of Nehemiah and Ezra. And they desecrated the temple. And what did they do? They brought in a pig, an abomination, desolation. And they brought in the pig and did evil sacrifices unto idols and false gods and deities in the house of God. Now, I want you to think about that. That is one of the greatest atrocities and evil things that you can do. Abominations. It's called the abomination desolation. So eventually the Jewish people said, enough is enough. We need to stand up. We need to rise up. We need to take our country back. We need to fight for our family, for our nation. We want to be the people that God has called us to be. The people of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. We want to be under the God of Israel. So what happened? The Maccabees rose up. And the Maccabees, which, which comes from a man named Maccabee, and the Maccabees, they gathered around and they began to revolt and stand up and push back the Cilician army. Now, let me ask you, have you ever felt like you were the underdog? Have you ever felt like you were inadequate? You were not qualified. You felt like you were the David against the Goliath. You were a grasshopper looking at giants. Have you ever felt that way? You felt like you don't have the good clothes. You don't have the good education. You didn't go through the right ladders or connections that other people had. I've, I felt like that. But the Lord's favor and hand has raised me and blessed me. Amen. And that's what the grace of God will do. I'm going somewhere, friends. But you see, the Jewish people, the Maccabees, they felt like they were the underdog. They felt like they were the least of these. But as they stood up in the might of God, God began to back them up. God began to defend them. I need you to hear this. There was supernatural supply, supernatural power, supernatural victory, literally against the world's greatest military and kingdom. They won the battle and they took back the temple. Are you ready to take back what the enemy stole from you? I feel the Lord right now. Are you ready to take back your land, 
your possessions, your family, your religious freedom? Are you ready to take back the temple of God? Amen. Are you ready to take back from the enemy, from what the devil took, stole from your life? Amen. So this is a season where you're going to take the temple back. You're going to retrieve your first love again. Roska, you're going to take back, I feel the Lord right now. You're going to take back all that was stolen in the last seasons. You felt like you were lost. You were destroyed. You were done. You felt like you were the underdog. This is the month and season. You're going to take it back by force with the help of God. If you believe it, say amen. And why is it so important? Because in this season of eight days, they battled for eight days. Come on, somebody. They battled for eight days. And why is this story so incredible? Because not only were the Maccabees, the Jewish people, a ragtag group of nobodies, not only is this a beautiful underdog story where God uses the least of these to confound the wise, hallelujah, but also they only had one day's worth of oil, one day's worth of oil. And Hanukkah is a story of one day's worth of oil, supernaturally multiplying to the next day, to the third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day, eighth day, until they defeated their enemies. You want to give up. You're crying out to God because you're in lack. Oh, I feel the Lord. However, the Lord is going to release multiplication and he's going to release exponential grace over your life. And so Hanukkah is the season where one day's worth of oil multiplied into eight days. And why is this so incredible? Because it was a miracle. It's the miracle of the oil. I want to say the oil. It's the miracle of the oil. Now, what does the oil stand for? We understand the oil, of course, stands for the Holy Spirit. But the oil also stands for resources and wealth. It stands for the anointing of God, but it also stands for the provision of God's Spirit. Amen. So it multiplied supernaturally. It lasted for eight days. Rabba Shekarabrata. Some of you feel like all you have is five loaves and two fish, but it's going to multiply to feed over 5,000 people. It's going to multiply. Say multiply. I want to tell you, friends, this month, expect God to multiply the little that you have. And it lasts for eight days. Now, I want to propose to you, I believe God would have multiplied it or kept it going supernaturally even longer. But he made the oil last in the lampstand. Remember, they didn't have the lights like this. They didn't have electricity. They, they had to light up candles, burn torches and fires in order to see in the night. Some say the night. This month, you, you will see in the night. You will see even in the night hour, in the darkest of nights, in the midnight hour, you will see with the glory of God. Amen. So why is it so important? Because I believe the Lord multiplied the oil until they defeated their enemies. And of course, it's not a coincidence with God. It had to do until the eighth day. It had to be done until the eighth day. And what does eight in the Hebrew stand for? My God, I'm getting drunk in the Holy Ghost. What does eight in the Hebrew stand for? Eight in Hebrew stands for new beginnings. I want you to say new beginnings. It also stands for not of this world. Eight in the Hebrew stands for new beginnings and not of this world. It literally means that God teleports transports something supernatural from that world into this world, from the heavens into the earth, from the supernatural into the natural, from the unseen realm to the seen realm, from prayer into reality. He causes the victory, the hand, the multiplying 
power, the glory, the grace of God from that world to this world. Come on, somebody say amen. And it is a supernatural grace of translation and manifestation. Hallelujah. If you receive it, say amen. And give us some hearts and likes and help us to build the algorithm. Let's break 300 today. Amen. Let's break 300 today. Shara Babosa. So eight in the Hebrew means new beginnings and not of this world. New beginnings and not of this world. Are you ready for a new beginning? Are you ready for the not of this world miracle to manifest? You know, I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, friends, this month, God's going to transport, import, translate, manifest from that world to this world, from that realm to this realm. Amen. And that's why, to me, it's not a coincidence that even with Christmas, with the birth of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Messiah of the world, he was transported from that world and manifested into this world. Some would say, I am a transporter. I want to say, I am a translator. You will transport and translate the gifts and the glories of God. My goodness. Rabba Baba Sota, this month, is the month of Kislev, the month of December, the month of Hanukkah, the festival of lights, where every lampstand, eight lampstands, I want you to think about it, every lampstand, I got a little menorah here, but every lampstand, not just seven, but eight candlesticks, it begins to burn bright. You will see in the midnight hour, I'm prophesying to you. You're about to see victory. You're about to see miracles. You are about to see your enemies scatter. You are about to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. You're about to see. If you're ready to see, say amen. This month, you are about to see supernatural favor all around you in Jesus' name. You're about to see the gifts of God. New things being birthed. New things being released and given. Hallelujah. Shaka Rabba Baba. Pray the Holy Ghost, friends. Resa Talablatata. He's going to raise you up from the underdog to becoming an overcomer. The underdog will become the overcomer. But it has to do with vision. It has to do with the festival of lights. And guess what? We understand the Holy Spirit is the oil. But Jesus is the menorah. Jesus is the lampstand. Hallelujah. And this is the only time of the whole year where the Hebrews will celebrate with the eight candlestick menorah. This is the only time of the year. Every other time it's forbidden. You only celebrate or light up your candles of seven candlesticks. But this is the only time where eight candlesticks burn bright. Rabba Baba, new beginnings, new dedications. Jesus, my goodness. Rabba Baba, say Karabrata. So I want you to say revelation. I want you to say relationship. And I want you to say resources. This month, get ready for revelation. Get ready for relationship rededication and get ready for resources. Because the oil stands for the favor of God, stands for the grace of God. The oil stands for financial miracles. Revelation, rededication in relationship, and also resources. If you receive that, say amen. Now, I'll, I wanna give you three prophetic points, amen. I've already been saying so much and giving so much. But in this month, amen, in this month, I want you to expect these three things. Number one, governmental mantles. You're going to take back your government seat. Take back the temple. You're going to take back what was lost and stolen. So this is a month of governmental mantles. Number two, this is a month of 
glory, vision, and visitation. Glory, vision, and visitation this month. Get ready for visions and visitations. Who's ready to have an encounter with God? Angelic encounters, angelic visitations. So this is the month of glory, vision, and visitations. And number three, friends, this is the month of exponential grace. Exponential grace. Hallelujah. The little you've been doing is going to multiply into much. The little that you have is going to multiply into much more. Someone say exponential grace. This month, my friends, there's so much that's going to happen in the nations of the world in different governments this month. Mark my words. Hear me. Amen. Get ready for miracles in Israel. Get ready for the dragon in China and North Korea. We need to pray. And that's one of the things I'm going to release for 2023. Literally, the dragon that is in China and the tail that is in North Korea. We're going to see the dragon fall this year in 2023. And another thing the Lord told me, and I, I actually wrote this down. You already know this. I released 22 prophetic words for 2022. So a lot of it's already come to pass. Or it has come to pass. But even in 2023, the Iron Curtain of Europe is also going to fall. We're going to see the dragon fall and the Iron Curtain of Europe fall. If you believe it, say amen. Hallelujah. And there's going to be oil springing up from Israel. Oil. This year in 2023. There's going to be oil. And I know I'm speaking in prophetic parabolic symbols, symbology. But those who have ears to hear have heard the word of the Lord that is behind these words that were just released. The dragon in China, North Korea will fall. The Iron Curtain in Europe will fall. Amen. And the oil will be restored and spring up back to Israel again this year, 2023. And I also believe that we're going to see a great revival amongst the Islamic nation, amongst the Muslims. We're going to see a great revival amongst Muslims this year. Amen. If you believe that, say amen. Shut up above this month, friends. December is a Hebrew month of Kislev. Rededication of the temple. Victory over your enemies. Multiplication. Hallelujah. Who's ready to rise up? Who's ready to stand up? Who's ready to stand in the glory of God? For this month, I declare and I decree, your eyes will see. Your eyes will see. If you believe it, say amen. Now, wherever you're watching from, friends, if you can, I want you to stand up right now. And I want you to put your hands over your eyes. I want you to stand up wherever you are, if you can. And I want you to put both of your hands over your eyes. Now, let me pray for you. God, I ask you, release the oil over their eyes, new oil over your life, in their lamps, in their lampstands. I release new oil, new grace. Come on, fill them up right now. I salve to their eyes. Whatever's been blurry, oh, I feel it. Whatever's been blinding you, distracting you, Whatever's been blurry, some of your eyesight, even in the natural, I release healing in your eyes. Some of you have cataracts. You've been going blind. You have diabetes. I rebuke blindness and blurriness on this broadcast. Eyes be healed. Visions be restored. Stigmatism be destroyed in the eyes right now. Open up. Touch. No. In the name of Jesus. Ruskata as a sign. Right now, I declare eyes in the natural be open and be healed as a sign of this word, that this word is true. 
in the name of Jesus. Come on. Rababa, I want you to begin to pray in tongues right now. With your hands over your eyes, God is touching you. God is moving you. I see the Lord healing your mind. There is headaches and migraines leaving. There is uh, torment in the minds that's also leaving right now. Torments on the minds leaving right now. Hallelujah. Stress, anxiety, depression, suicide, tormenting spirits. I bind you and I rebuke you. In Jesus' name, Rabba Suka Rabba Rosata Ruska Tarabrata. Expect miracles in your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. If you receive it, say Amen. Hallelujah. Rabba Baba Osata. Now, I want you to comment. I want you to comment if you feel the difference in your body or if your vision. Is feeling better or is healed. Some of you, you you really needed some healing in your eyes and your vision. Rabba And not just your vision, but if you received a healing in your body, something's different about your body. I want you to comment below right now. Comment, comment, comment. Thank you, Joseph O'Donnell, for being a subscriber. God bless you. I want you to comment, friends. Come on. This is a time for miracles. Shatarababa. Relina Rascon, thank you for being a subscriber. God bless you. The fire of God's falling. The power of God is flowing. Jesus. Comment below if the Lord touched you or if you're healed or something's different. Amen. There is no distance in the spirit. I am right there with you in the room, in the atmosphere, says God. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Jababa se terra de rosa. Our daughter Gracie is receiving her sight now. Amen. My visions are clear. My body is healed. I just got healed from a headache. God bless you. Yes, I feel the difference in my back when I stood. Hallelujah. God bless you, MJ. I feel a release in my head, Ingrid. That's me. Restoration of my sight. Depression gone, says Heidi. Hallelujah. First time watching from Dallas, Texas. Been having trouble once I wake up. I can see a lot clearer. Michael Lisinski. My headache is gone. Amen. Come on. Praise him, people of God. Praise him right now. Jababa, I feel like my sight is more enhanced. Amen, Felipe. Come on, praise the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. My vision is more clear, says DC. Rabasa, are you ready to take back the temple? My eyes can see vision. Air Tercy, good to see you. Are you ready to take back what the enemy stole from you? Anthony Carabillo says, my left eye was hurting yesterday, but it feels much better now. Promise struggle, whole thou eyes blurry, but better glory. Look at that from Arizona. Pray for complete healing. The testimonies are rolling in, my friends. Jesus, I feel more shalom in my mind. Thank you, Melissa Shu, for being a subscriber. And by the way, I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas this weekend. I'll give you the information a little bit. But I want you to lift up your hands, friends. P keep praying in the Holy Ghost. Because I sense the presence of God. This month, December, kiss Lev. God is going to do so much in your life. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Heidi. Look at that. I can stand a bit more without pain. Headache, tension, and upper shoulder, neck clearer. My my eyesight vision clear without wearing spectacles. God bless you. Glory be to God. Now I want you to lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for the oil of Hanukkah, the victory of the season. And God, I thank you right now that you are releasing upon your people the oil of gladness. There it is. The oil of gladness. 
Jika Mosataraboshaka in this month. Expect governmental mantles. Expect hallelujah. Glory visions and visitations. Gifts being received and exponential grace. Hallelujah. If you receive it, say amen. Now, in this moment, friends, I want to open up a time for you to sow back to the Lord. Give back to Jesus in this moment. Amen. Do you receive the word of the Lord, the word of the prophets? Do you receive the word of God today? Are you saying, Dr. Pastor Benlam, that word today, that's mine. I received this word. If you receive this word today, I want you to say amen. Now, friends, I want you, hallelujah, I want you to believe with me because I believe you will see. Your eyes will see this month. Your eyes, Melissa Filler, Rob Filler, Carrie Perez, Mariana, your eyes will see this month. Do you believe? Shout hallelujah if you believe. Your eyes will see. Amen. Glory. So this is what I want you to do, friends. Okay? As you sow and give back to the work of God. Amen. As you honor the word of the Lord today, that your eyes will see. What I want you to comment in the chat group is Hanukkah miracles. I want you to comment Hanukkah miracles. Amen. As a sign that you have blessed the Lord today. Amen. Trust me, if you sow into this moment and into this word, your life will be blessed like never before. According to your faith, it shall be. So if you believe, go forth. If you believe, Go ahead and bless the Lord. Obey that still small voice in your heart. That the Lord is saying, son, daughter, your little will be turned into much. So give back to the Lord. Amen. In this moment. Praise God. So Karen Fourier, God bless you. Alan Smith, Alma Smith, God bless you. Krista Hill, God bless you. Amitha, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, sew in, tap in. Susan Kim, God bless you. Carrie Perez, Ingrid Muhammad, Jesus. Ty Manatee, God bless you. Becky Weaver. So in this moment, friends, while the glory of God is present, Crystal Moore, DC, Melissa Shu. Yes, Lord. I give praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I give glory to your name. Oh, Lord. Glory to your name, O oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Charlotte Rosal, God bless you. Marilla Last, God bless you. Sisianga, Gabai, Shalom. Sophia Samuel, God bless you. Rababosata. Thank you, Lord. Priscilla Stewart, God bless you. Thank you, Karen Tom, for pledging. God bless you. Cece, God bless you. Zaps, Nora, Shalom. Margaret Kilue, hallelujah. Rabbi Crystal Vera, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Rabbi Baba Seta, Yes, Lord. Ty says, love listening to your preaching. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. Lichien, Samuel Guavi, such beautiful names. Pastor Sharon, God bless you. Child of Most High, shalom to you. Amy Whitmer, Prophet Luis, Laura Alanis. Yes. Rabba Baba, Jani Sharir. 
Thank you. Look at that. We got some Aussies in the house today. I love it. So in tap in in this moment, friends. Bless the Lord. Mumu Avilar. Maritha Capel. Heidi from South Africa, I believe. Thank you, Lord. Come on, I'm gonna. We're gonna keep sowing for another minute or so, but I need you to sow. Tap into the glory. Elaine Mason, shalom to you. Honor the Lord and honor his prophet. Honor his voice. Amen. Vanessa de Jesus, we miss you, friend. Jaba Karabrosa Tabaratata. Terry Ann. Sandy Archibald. Suzanne says, I've already received so many miracles. Amen. I love Dr. Benham. God bless you. Thank you, Leticia. Milagre, God bless you. Carmen, God bless you. Jesus, Hanukkah miracles is your portion, my friends, this month of December and Kislev. Claudia, God bless you. Jesus. Who is feeling the presence of God? I'm I'm so undone right now. I'm drunk. I'm in the glory. Krista Hill says excited about December. Thank you, Lisa. God bless you. Sha-la-la-la-bata. Hanukkah miracles. Expect the one day's worth of oil to multiply to eight days. Your little will be turned into much. Your lack will be turned into abundance. Hallelujah. If you believe it, say amen. Is there a number you can call to give? Praise God. One of our team members, Dolores, will call you or message you. Amen. Dolores, if we could message Kerry Perez so we could get this lovely person on the phone. Amen. Anthony Carabayo. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, April. Patricia, birthday month. If it's your birthday in this month, December, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Amen. Oh, Jesus. I want to wish you a happy birthday. Rabash Karabrata. Well, thank you to all of those that sowed and gave back to the Lord. Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap, friends. This month is going to be such a great month. This month is going to be such a great month. Jesus, lift up your hands. Chantal Aarons, God bless you. Lift up your hands, friends. Lord, I thank you. Shh. Touch your people today. Grace them with the oil of God. With the oil of gladness. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Resa tara braka tara brasa ta. Raka tara brata ta. Jesus. Harababa satarababa. Well, thank you, friends, for watching today. Listen, if you believe December is a month where your eyes will see, say amen. Friends, I I want to, God bless you, Jackie, thank you. I, I I, want to talk about a few announcements here very quickly. This weekend, I'm going to be ministering in Dallas, okay? I'm going to be ministering Thursday and Friday evening this weekend, this week, literally in a few days. So if you are in the Dallas area or in the surrounding area, please come see me. I would love to meet you in person. It's my 
second time ministering in Dallas, but I, I haven't ministered in Dallas in Asia. So come and see me if you are in the Dallas, Texas area. Uh, just be on the lookout this Thursday and Friday. Amen. Next week, I will be in Hawaii. Praise God. We will be in two islands. We will be in Oahu. And we will also be in Kona, the big island. So we'll be in two islands next week in Hawaii. So come and see me, friends. All right, if you are in the Hawaii region and the surrounding areas, and uh, it's going to be powerful. So come and see me, come and see us. And uh, I would love to see you there if you're in the Hawaii state and Hawaii islands and regions. Amen. Um, guys, you need to be a part of, you need to be a part of this event we have for New Year's. It's the New Year's Eve revival. And many of you uh, have been following me. And if you can make it, listen, fly in, drive in. New Year's Eve revival, or myself, Papa Georgian Banoff, known as the Apostle of Joy, Mama Coco Banoff, and we have Keith Duncan leading worship, but December 29th, 30 and the 31st, three days. And the 31st, New Year's Eve, we're gonna do a countdown in the glory, Holy Ghost party, and we're gonna end 2022 with a big bang, with a miracle party. And we're gonna cross over into the new year 2023. So if God's been good to you, come and join us, all right? You can also uh, join online, okay? We also have online registration, but it's always better in person, amen? So hopefully the fillers, I could see you, you know, the weavers, I know you're in Pennsylvania, but if you've been following me, if you are close to us, come. Fly in, drive in, especially if you're in Arizona area, NorCal, New Year's Eve revival. And if you are international or you cannot make it in person, register online. And we would love to have you and to see you there online. Amen. Praise God. Well, God bless you, friends. I love you. Thanks for watching today. Who's excited for December? If you receive today, say amen. And thank you for sharing. Share this broadcast. Share this live if you received and you know the Lord has ministered to you through this live. Share this broadcast. Would you please consider <clears throat> subscribing uh, to our page and uh, give us a like, a follow, hallelujah. And also follow me on my different social media handles. Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Amen. Help us to spread the prophetic rhema, word of God, to the nations. The power of the Holy Spirit to the nations. Amen. This is a time for nations to open up. And we're going to see great harvests and exploits unto God. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hak Sameach. Shalom, shalom. Oh, I can't wait to see what God is about to do in your life. Thank you for joining me. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lynn. Love you, and I will see you soon. God bless.